YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? This your boy Bronx26 coming at you with a little update. Apologizing for my absence, but absence, but it's been a while. I've, it's been like a month since I've put a video up. So I'm gonna ahead, go ahead and fill you guys in on what's been going on. One, my computer messed up, so they're sending me a replacement through my warranty. Two, I got a new video editing software. Um, can't wait to try it out. It's gonna be a surprise on what it is. No, it's not. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. It's a Cyberlink uh, Power Director. It's like a $60 program. It's, it's nothing big, but it's got a lot of features I like on it. I've done a little bit of research. So check out uh, some uh, tutorial videos on uh, Cyberlink's Power Director. Check it out. It's got some good features on it. But um, yeah, other than that, bam, I got that baby for the Booza. It's um, a 10 inch stretch swing arm, a, str a 10 inch overall stretch. Uh, for, I ordered this from uh, CNS Customs. I saw an app on a, uh, or I saw a little advertisement on Facebook. Checked them out. I like what they do. Not expensive at all. Um, I think for this swing arm, I paid seven hundred, counting uh, the extended brake line I ordered with it. But it started off at a uh, four fifty for just the swing arm, just this part. Is what, and I think with a Busa, you got to have under bracing because it just looks weird. It looks too skinny for me. So I added under bracing. That's an extra 100, uh, 150. So 450 plus 150. Yeah, it, it adds up pretty quick. Plus the whatever I paid for the extended brake line. And I just need to give me a chain. And uh, I'll throw that on the boost. When I, I paint and everything. But that's a 10 inch stretch. It's a, a stock tire uh, stretch. But I'm going to put a 200 on there. Because the, the stock uh, boosters can fit a 200 tire on there. So I'm going to throw a 200 with this. So it's not quite a fat tire kit, but it's going to be bigger than stock. Now, with the 900, I went on ahead and uh, took the tank off. But y'all yeah, seen the videos of the, t uh, the color scheme of this bike. It's going to be green and orange. Uh, tank's over there. But um, what's going on with this bike right now? I installed a brand new throttle cable and clutch cable. And um, yeah. I forgot, I'm thinking it's three pieces, but the throttle cable is actually a two piece. It's a push pull throttle cable. I installed that. This is what I fabricated today because I eliminate the back seat, of course. There's only one, it's going to be one seater, Street Fighter style, and uh, extended swing arm. I wanted the extended swing arm to look like it was a little further out without actually paying money to buy a bigger swing arm because it's already extended. So I eliminated the back seat. And the seat ends like right here. Yeah, the seat ends right here. So I got all this open space right here that I'm fabricating to kind of close in a little bit. So I got some scrap metal from uh, one of the construction yards I was working. And I cut to size a plate. I mean, cut a better one, but this is kind of just a general idea of what I'm doing. I mean, drill holes in the top and bottom and kind of uh, put a bolt through them just to hold it there and I'm going to paint it. But closing in the sides for a brake light, I mean mount LED strip right here, and um, for my to mount my license plate. I just got this sitting on here right now just to get an idea of it. But this is going to be um, I mean drill hole right here and mount my license plate right here. And of course I already cut out the other side, but I'm, I'm gonna redo both cuts just so I can um, yeah, so I can get a good idea and actually close it in, make it look better. But this bike is almost up and running, guys. I, I need a new battery, and that's about it. And uh, connect the chain. I had to order two chains and I'm connect them because it's a extended swing arm. And last but not least, the headers. I took them off. I'm ordering another one, but I'm wrapping the headers with the uh, green, um, the wrapping, the exhaust wrap. Got some green ones that matches freaking perfectly with the paint job. I looked out with that. So yeah, the headers are going to be green. Just to kind of give it that cage look without having a cage. Sorry guys, I'm walking around my trailer because this is my workstation. But yeah, this is what's been going on with me. Um, again, I apologize for not doing videos in a, in a while. I've been working my ass off and tinkering with this bike. Yes, as you can see, I took the headers off. They loop down and go under the bike and all that stuff. You guys know how that works. And um... Yeah, this is just my little bit project. It's mostly going to be for show, color code. I mean, yeah, it's going to be operational and work fine. 
but I'm not going into the whole engine work yet. I'm just kind of getting it up and running, and then I'll worry about the engine work later. But all the colors is just I like the color scheme I came up with. The swing arm will actually be taken off pretty soon. I'm actually gonna paint the swing arm green to match the the peg brackets and the tank, which is right here. Can't really see the color, but yeah, go to my last video and you can check out the paint the color scheme. I got a new Street Fighter headlight, courtesy of Tanya, a girl, I, a lady I ride with. I mean, paint this green as well, and that's gonna go on the front of the bike. I mean, it's gonna look sick, guys. I can't wait to finish it. But, uh, yeah, working out of my trailer right now. Don't really have a garage yet. Got a bunch of tools and stuff in here. But until then, guys, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about me. Keep some subscriptions coming because, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to build this channel. And it will be getting back up to normal within the next two weeks because one of my new computer comes in. I got a new video editing software, so it's going to be, I'm going to be full steam ahead, guys. So until then, guys, peace.